what I love about my son is that um not smoking children. Bread. No. Yes? Pizza. No. Pizza. No. And it's very kind. Okay. And it's not negative. Hello guys and welcome to our channel. Firstly, let us thank God for bringing us through another week. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And here I have Nalo. If you are a single parent or you have an ADHD child or you enjoy cooking, then this is the channel for you. We also do these challenges of life and the struggles of a single parent parent please do consider subscribing to the channel and being part of our virtual family we would love to have you here and to our return to our return thank you guys so much for coming back to yet another video i appreciate your support i appreciate your loyalty your likes and your comments and definitely your shares Okay, so today we are bringing a new thing that I'm introducing to this channel. It's called Parent Child Ship, right? So what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be discussing or we're going to be talking. I'm, go I'm going to be asking Ndalo questions and um, that I'm going to answer. And then Undal also is going to be asked questions that um, he has um, to answer so firstly the disclaimer is that whatever we speak about here together nundalo we are not going to take it outside like this is going to be like a safe space so if he says something about me i'm not going to then outside of this be like yeah you said that no so it's an open setup safe setup that um we are going to be doing I am Mabalo, as you guys know, I am a mother and I am a single parent. I am Nundalo and uh, I am a single child. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in grade, uh, I'm in grade 6 and I am 12 years old. Okay, he's 12 currently going on 30 next year and I am in my mid 30s. <laughs> Okay, before we get to the first question, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of background. Um, Undalo used to stay with my mom for a very long time. Um, and then my mom passed away. So we only started staying together in 2022 in April. That's when he moved over to officially stay with me outside a car. Because normally I would come back home and then we would stay there at home if maybe I'm unemployed. So this is the first time staying together outside of East London. We originally come from East London. So right now we are in um, a club, where I called Elizabeth. Okay, so the first question is. Uh, I felt I didn't feel very sad, but I did feel sad. Okay, so what made you sad? That I never got to see my mom a lot. Okay, so what didn't make you sad? <clears throat> is that I, there was someone I was with, which was my granny. Okay. I wasn't happy, obviously, not staying with my child because um, I'd be missing a lot of um, some precious moments. Like if he has a soccer game or there's a parents meeting, if he has a concert, you know, um, then I miss those things. So it, it really didn't feel nice and um, to not be present basically for um, your child. Um, yeah feels good mm -hmm. yes. so how has life changed i'm in a different place mm -hmm. different 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like, okay, what has changed before when you weren't staying with your mom versus now that you are staying with your mom? Uh, that, uh, like, I used to take transport, so now I don't take transport because he dropped me off at school. Okay. And, um, and you, you like attend meetings at my school. Parents okay, something that um, I was not able to do before. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, life has completely changed because now I'm very much more responsible. Because remember, when you are um, staying alone, um, you can like eat whatever you want. So if you don't feel like cooking in the day, you don't cook. Um, versus now, yes, yeah, sometimes if I don't feel like cooking, um, I'll say to Undal, he must make himself um, an egg or he must make himself spaghetti. But uh, for instance, Sundays, I know what I like have to cook, you know. Versus if I was staying alone, um, I, I wouldn't be bothered, you know. And also, um, now having been present and helping my child with um his homeworks and you know seeing his progress um at first hand versus Uti. we are he's struggling with that and that you know I also now put an effort to making sure Uti um we are improver or I assist government work that I can. Mm. I'm a mother that spoils me. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it's very kind. Okay. And it's not negative. Okay. It doesn't eat children. Okay. Okay, so by negative what do you mean? Tell us. I'm always saying no. But Galo, when you say no, it's for a reason. Yesterday I asked for one rent. Mm -hmm. And then you said no. Why do you think I said no? I don't know. Because the local, I need you go. You, I need you want money for um, an outing that you're gonna be going to. Yes. So now we put her in money because every day I need you are asking for you want that. Not every day. It was only yesterday. Before that, how many times did you ask? Like twenty something. In my life, I've asked for like money for like. Uh, but but I can't only say we be saying yes. So what it's, other things? It's just one rent. Yeah, it's one rent, but tomorrow is going to be ten rent. No, it's not. Yes, and it's just like that. Mm. Most definitely, in the normal life, I'd love to have a child that listens. I'm a man. If we am too much, I'm gonna be a chigeleza studying with those things for instance now i said to him that he must go get my jacket um in the car he was taking long and then i had to call out his name and only if i i see him only then going to the car we have you see so a child that listens a child that obeys you know um that is my ideal kind of child child that is going to stay out of trouble basically not smacking children mm -hmm. uh, let you always wash the dishes okay and you do my chores excuse me say what you do my chores so the, those are the three things that you would like to change yes that you can think of not smacking. No, wait, wait, wait. No smacking. Mm -hmm. You do all of my chores mm -hmm. and you buy me like a, a good, like, let's say, like, <coughs> one thing, like, let's say, soccer goes on it. You should buy me something like that, like shoes, maybe like every two months, every after two months. Get me the food I want. But I do get you food most I always ask you when I get paid good tea. Food um, I want like did you, can you buy me muesli now? 
And no, but you ate muesli yesterday. Okay, like okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. One thing I, I do believe about hitting a child um is not a bad thing because the Bible says once you spare a uh, spare a rod, spoil a child. You spoil a child. Um so you don't necessarily beat him that I may I may bruise or whatever, but just to give them a hiding, you're going to know this is not right. Uh no phone. Yeah, no, no. For how long? For like a week. Is that the only only thing how you want to be punished? No, no, not no phone. Not no. Uh I don't want to talk about parents like no. So how are you gonna be punished? Because punishment must be something that is gonna teach you a lesson so that you don't do it again. So how how no, no, no. No eating for week. No, like the government How can I not give you food? Like okay, no food for a week. Yeah, only for a week. Yeah, a month. No, I can't give you that food. No, what? Or you can ground me. I have a ground me for one a week. But not having a phone and keeping you indoors is almost like grounding you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I still have a TV. <laughs> no TV as well. No. I've never heard bullied. So I'm forgetful. Mm -hmm. It just happens, but I don't know how it happens. I just forget. Like the other day, I was like when you say I must uh, wash the dishes and then and then I forget so so and then I can't come sit here and I watch the di uh, watch TV. So when you come up and then you say why didn't you wash the dishes because I forgot. Okay, so what do you think is the plan? So what do you think we must do to assist you in not forgetting? I don't know. Okay, maybe we must have um, a checklist so that before you go and play, because sometimes I will say to Undalwa, when you come back from school, we'll do A, B, and C, and then I come back and it's only done B, the A and C, yeah, like that. So I think what can assist us is that maybe we have a checklist, right? Before you leave um, to go play outside, you check, okay, I've done this one, I've done this one, you tick. I think that will help, okay? Yeah? Yeah, I must get a board. Um, is that I love him and everything that I do, I do um, so that I'm in a better future. Whatever I do might seem, because sometimes now him going to um, psychologist and I say, you know, he can't eat sweets um, because only eight days she wrote that. Sometimes he thinks I'm being harsh on him. God, yeah, I'm not. I'm just trying to make him a better person and um, give him a better future, basically. Red. What's Nadal's favorite color? Red. Red. I go to the time now. You only answer green. Red. Yeah, and cop. Red. No. Yes? Yeah. No. Okay. No, he would not will have bread like on any given day, breakfast, day, night. That's done. What is the one thing that your mom will eat all day, every day? Meat. What did you say? Meat. <laughs> Meat, that's right. <laughs> I have that sometimes she's kind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she forgives me for the wrong things I do. Mm -hmm. Like the day that I got I got detention for, for because of this person, and then so the the following week there was an athletics day. 
So she said I wasn't gonna get money. So when she dropped me off there, she gave me the money. What I love about my son is that um <laughs> is that um he tries to for instance he he, he what hide hide what mm -hmm. no not that he likes playing hide and seek. What I love um is that that um if Umoshile he's always the first person to tell me what he. Mama, I've done this, and when I sit him down, most times when I sit him down and ask him to be honest with me, he will be honest. And I always, um, we we'll always speak to him about bullying, and, and I always say to him, if he ever gets bullied, um, he must tell me, and I know what he. I trust that he will tell me because he comes to me, and we have that um, honest um, communication conversation so it's his honesty that i know what if i ask him for me he's not gonna lie he's gonna tell me the truth and i'm just i just pray with he um god continues to keep him like that so that i'm not because scared to tell me anything because that's one thing he's not scared to tell me anything even though he he doesn't know my reaction or he fears what how i might react but he still tells me so that's the one thing that i love about him Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow me on the socials at Babes Ngala. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Share with your friends, family, partners, and colleagues. Thank you guys so much for watching. Up until next time. God bless you guys. Bye.